Right then, so before we can have a WordPress website, we do need a domain name that we can use. And you may already have that sorted. And if you have, you can go on to the next video. Um, I'm going to be doing this through Ionis because that's what we use personally. But generally, it's the same kind of process for whatever you are using, SiteGround, GoDaddy, names.co.uk, etc. Personally, I prefer to have my domains with the person I'm using for web hosting. So this is why I'm going through Ionis. But you can do it separate. So even in my other business, IT Moon, I have my domain with names.co.uk. But actually, I've got all my web hosting through Ionis. Um, so don't worry if they are in separate places. Both, it does not matter. So I'm going to actually do this for, I literally need to do this myself. So I want to set up um, online income.academy. Um, and I am hoping it is still available because last time it was. So I've now pressed search and it's going to find it. And it says I can. Normally, domains will cost you like a pound or something a year for the first year and then like £36 for the rest of it. Um, however, for me, because I'm using a premium domain because it's got the dot .academy, it is going to cost me a little bit more. So all you would simply do now is you would be like add to basket. That now adds it to my basket and I can see it at the top. So if I go to the basket, it's going to load this up. Um, it's going to bring me to the checkout screen and you can put free private registration. Um, what this does is, so when, normally when you register it, you basically a data becomes public. Whereas you can say, no, please keep my details private. So I'm going to tick that box and then I'm going to press checkout. Um, just actually, just to note, actually, I'm just going to go back a step. Let me just go back a step. Hang on. It's not letting me go back. But there was a little bit that you could basically change to say that you wanted to go for one year instead of, not one year, you want to go for longer than one year. Um, it's going to make me click on stuff, isn't it? Da, da, da. No, why do you not want to work? Let's just refresh. See if you get an issue, just refresh. Oh, here we go. So now we can press change. And as you can see here, I could say two years. So it's still the same price, three years, but it just means I won't forget to re-register anything like that. Um, but I don't need to do that. So again, check out, register terms and conditions. And then I would press buy now. So it's already got my bank details in. It's already got all our details in. And I would press buy now. And then what's going to happen is it's going to say that I have the domain. Stand by. So we can see here, thank you for your order and that it'll be in my account section. Um, so if I click on about the new product, it's going to take me into my screen. And if we go to the domains and SSL, you might panic then and think, where is it? You know, it, it's not here. Like, where's it gone? And some systems, especially I own us, there is a bit of delay sometimes when you're actually trying to um, get it all sort, you know, put into here. And all it is is a case of just keep refreshing your screen and it will come in. So now we can see it's now come in. So it's saying it sent me a email. I'm just going to go get that email up. Just one second. I'll pause the video, get this email up and then come back in here. So here you can see it's just asking us to confirm that this is at us. This is our email. So I can just now press set up your domain. And happy days. So straight away, it's asking me how I want to use it. So if you was going through this step, you would obviously go to create a website and press continue on. But I'm not going to do it on this one just because I want to show you how a different way of doing it within Ionis for those people who haven't got their, um, have already got their domain name or, you know, anything like that. So I will see you in the next video ready for a WordPress hosting site.